What's the history behind Miguel's? And Miguel's um, started about 20 or so years ago. So it's, not, it's relatively a new club when you think about it. I always say it's a relatively new club. Because you've got like Repton. In, in terms of amateur years, they, yeah. yeah. They've been Young. established for quite some time now, for about over 50, 50 plus years, some of them. So Miguel is fairly, fairly new. Fairly new. Um, we've got some good coaches here, good coaches. We have Richard Williams was a world champion boxer, had a world title. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, he's a coach now. He's doing pretty good as a coach, you know. I think he's a trying to, he's finding his feet as a coach. Um, then we got Don Davis. Oh, you had him, yeah. He trained, yeah, he trained yeah. Richard. He trained Richard, he trained a few guys. Great, great, great coach. Great, a lot of knowledge, very knowledgeable. Um, we got John Sims. Yeah, I had John Sims. Well. Yeah. Great guy as well. Trained um, Wayne Alexander. He trained Akiwane. So he sees. Oh wow! So he's a, so he's a good, very good. He trains me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my yeah, coach. Yeah. So he trains me as well. So he's on the very good coach. Then we got oh, this gym's got so many different coaches. We got Ted Bammy, who trains Isaac Chamberlain. Oh yeah, um, Chris yeah. Congo. Richard. Yeah, Congo's a good, exciting fighter. Yeah, yeah. Congo, quality. He's a he's exciting guy. Definitely to want watch. to watch out for. Yeah. Definitely want to watch out. I can see him going on to big things. Then we got, um, who else we got? Then we got, oh, we got so many different coaches. Then we got the amateur coaches, Richard, I mean, Granville, Mike. And you're one of the amateur coaches as well, right? I'm not an amateur coach per se, because you've got to be an amateur coach, you have to have your amateur license. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go get your license. A, yeah, I'm more of a junior coach. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I train the juniors on the thirteens, the um, box, so they get to the amateur level. Then they move okay. up to amateur. But I do do a bit. Of, I train a lot of guys for white collar fights and stuff. I train a lot of guys for white collar fights. I had a few um, guys. Most of the guys that I've trained, they've done pretty good. I must say so myself. They, I'm, I've had no losses yet. Always a modest Sammy, yeah? I've had no losses yet, thank yeah. God. Listen, coaching is not easy, you know? I know, trust me, I used to do it, it's not I easy. I'm telling you, as a fighter, you know, as a fighter, you know, you know your ability, right? Yeah. You know, once you go in the ring, you know what you can do and what you can't do. So yeah. it's all down to you. As a coach, you know what your fighter could do, but you don't know if he's going to be able to do it that day. So when you're, in the, when you're there coach, and, and a fighter, and you're telling him this and that, you're hoping he's able to um, ex execute it. But some of the times, it, um, it, it, it gets a bit scrappy in there. Yeah, of course. You, yeah, you come with handbags result, and stuff. You come, yeah. with, you come with the result, but you're like, boy, you made that hard for yourself. <laughs> and you're, you're there having heart failure on the side of the ring. But it's good. It's all good. I love it. I love it's it. an emotional rollercoaster because I like when I used to train. You see so much potential in people. Yeah. And at certain times, you were not seeing them put in the work that you know yeah, they need yeah. to put in to get the results. And it's, yeah. It's, and you're just there looking at it, you're just baffled. You're thinking, yeah, it's crazy. It's like you on? can see it, but they can't see it. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's a good thing you touched upon that. The thing about boxing, boxing, coaching, fighting, sparring, whatever, training, whatever, even if you're just boxing to keep fit, or you want to lose a bit of weight. Mm. Box, I personally think, everyone thinks it's all like uh, muscles, strength, whatever. Forget all that. It's mainly your mentality. If you're not got the right mentality, you can't. It's very hard to achieve what you want to achieve in boxing. Okay, if you okay, you might, as you just said, a person might be like a quality fighter, looking sharp, sharp, sharp in the ring, sharp sparring, all the technical work. But if their mentality is not right, because remember, as a boxer, the biggest opponent you got is yourself. Yeah, so most of yeah, mental. Most of the times, boxers don't lose fights because um, they're not good enough. They lose because they beat themselves. Yeah. They go in there to the wrong attitude, the wrong men mentality, nervous or whatnot, or just not thinking correctly. Lack of motivation. Yeah, lack of motivation. Yeah. Or just, you know, then that's how they lose. Because their mentality is not right. It, just, it goes the same about um, weight, anything. If you're at life, if you want to lose weight, you can't be thinking, okay, you know what, I'm going to train, do this and that. But if your mentality is not right, you think, okay, I'll just train, let me go eat this. We know you shouldn't be eating. It's just a continuous cycle. Yeah, so many boxers out there of um, defeating themselves. I mean, you had yeah, this guy, uh, what's his name, Kirkland Lang? 
Yeah. He boxed out Hackney, but he fought Roberto Duran, beat him, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, um, Sick boxer. Yeah, John Sims used, um, I think he used to, he came down here a few times. For yeah, and yeah. Whatnot, so he's, yeah. He was a legend in the, in the 90s, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. 90s. John Sims was telling me about him a couple of weeks ago. Weeks yeah. ago. He said some footage of him on YouTube. He's a slip boxer. Yeah, One slick. of the best no, boxers yeah. he had in yeah, his yeah. country. Yeah. But now I heard it like he's living homeless in Hackney somewhere. Yeah, that, that's the thing. That's what I think all the ones about boxing. You gotta realize boxing, boxing is not for, it's not a forever thing. Yeah, yeah, young man's sport. It's a young man's sport. There is a time limit on it. Mm. Okay, and people tend to get sucked into the lifestyle because you know boxers, especially if you're a good established boxer, you're making a lot of money. Then you know you're buying all fancy cars, this and that. Because you start moving around different crowds, okay? And you go out spending, and you're drinking and whatnot. So after that, plus the drinking, it all takes a toll on your body. Mm. And when you're not spending your money correctly or investing into the future, when it does end, you look back and think, wow, where did all the money go? Yeah. You think, I've got nothing to show for it. Then you've got to get a job, like in Morrison's or Tesco's or something mad like that. You're thinking... What? You're like the second boxer is mentioned that one of your coaches must just use that as like a scare tactic. Yeah, see, no, everyone, everyone I, the boxers we speak to here now, they're always like, I ain't working in Tesco. No, no, nah, nah, seriously, because that's yeah. bad. How do you go from there yeah. to down there? Like, that's madness. <laughs> nah, man. I think, like, I hate that. Because I think, in life, okay, if, after you finish boxing, if you want to do something that you're passionate about, that you sincerely in love with, then go for it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think you should be doing after because boxing, boxing is a hard, li- boxing is a hard life. It um, is from taking hits, early morning, the dieting. The, dis- the, discipline, the discipline is discipline, unreal. Discipline, this is not a team sport. Yeah, discipline is unreal. All right. Then to finish your career, then to go be taking some nine to five job. When you got a man shouting at you, doing this and that, you're thinking, what? Do you know where I've come from? <laughs> yeah. Taking this now. That's some madness. Nah. Nah, man. Like, you got to plan. Once, you, once your foot's through the door, you definitely have to plan for your Yeah, you've got to plan. You, gotta, you plan. definitely have to have a plan. That's why. Um, but I think fighters nowadays are getting a lot, a lot smarter. A lot smarter with their money. They're investing more. Looking for more to the future than the fighters prior, prior generation. For sure.